Hello, my name is Jijan and I'm with Gazab's Hope and Healing Program. I'd like to offer some videos about meditation. The first couple of videos will just be approaching basic concepts and approaches um, to meditating. And I'd like to offer two videos at the end that will be uh, guided meditations that I'll be leading. I've been meditating for a little over 10 years now, and I was introduced to meditation through the Zen tradition. The first thing to consider um, with meditating is just setting up uh, your physical space, and that might include uh, the light in your room, the temperature of the room. You don't want it to be too bright, too dark, too warm, too cold, just whatever is conducive and comfortable. Um, and helps you stay alert for whatever the duration may be. In the videos that I'll be leading, each one will be 10 minutes long. Another thing is just finding a quiet space in your house. You know, for me, I can't control the neighbors upstairs or across the hallway or when the train's gonna go by, but I just find a quiet time throughout the day and just sit in the corner of my room uh, a few feet away from a wall facing the wall, actually. Now, considering posture, um, I'm not gonna be too focused on the details of it because our bodies are so unique. Um, so you can look up online uh, various ways if you wanna find more traditional postures, sitting cross-legged on the floor. You can view that online. Uh, lately, I've actually had to sit in a, in a chair because of uh, some hip pain. Um, and in the videos, you'll see that I'll be sitting in a chair leading the meditation. But the general thing, if you're going to be sitting, um, is that you want to sit with more or less uh, a straight and erect posture. Of course, some of us are more, uh, our posture is a lot better than ours. I tend to slouch, so I just try my best, find a kind of relaxed posture where I, where I know that I can maintain some level of alertness. And with my eyes, I lowered them to a 45 degree angle, just lowering my lids, not closing my eyes because that will kind of start to put me in a sleepy kind of space and not keeping my eyes wide open because uh, my attention will tend to drift off to whatever, whatever that uh, captures my eye. To help reduce uh, salvation and the need to swallow, I just uh, I swallow before I start and place the roof place the tongue my tongue on the roof of my mouth, and that seems to help reduce uh, the need to salvate. Now, when we're breathing, we're going to need to do some deep belly breathing, and at the beginning of each meditation, I'll I'll start with three deep breaths, um, but just to provide some context. Uh, we'll be breathing deep into our diaphragm, the bottom of our belly, and that helps our minds and our bodies to just settle into the moment and just relax. If you notice somebody who's in deep sleep and snoring loudly, perhaps you'll see their belly rising and slowly, uh, slowly collapsing, rising, slowly collapsing. And when you imagine somebody who's in a kind of fight or flight mode, uh, someone who's in an anxious or feel fearful situation, you imagine them hyperventilating with their upper chest. And if you're like me, you'll notice that a lot of times throughout your day, you're almost constantly breathing through your upper chest. And instead, we're just moving that breath a little lower. And that helps to move a different process inside of us, a process that helps us to just relax and anchor our bodies and minds to this moment, settle our minds. The next thing to talk about is what we're doing with our hands. Um, you can keep your hands on your lap. You can lay them on top of each other, on top of your lap. Um, whatever feels most comfortable for you. But what you don't want to be doing is just moving your hands or, um, you know, anything that creates unnecessary movement, you don't want to be doing. Of course, if you find yourself in pain, please move and adjust how you need to. But the best thing is finding a posture um, that, that you can sit comfortably in for some time. 
the last thing to consider is bring some items around you that help help um help you plant yourself into this moment some items that that remind you of your roots whatever that may be it may be some family heirlooms or a picture of a friend or uh, a piece of art uh, some religious artifact whatever it may be you know for example for me i like to keep uh, a photo album of loved ones by me uh, a picture of my grandma's brother in the scroll that I received the day I became a monk. These items just help me kind of connect to myself and to this life in this moment and also helps me connect to this life infinitely to the past and infinitely into the future in a very heartfelt and rooted way. So those are just some uh, basic considerations. Um, if there's any kind of fine details or questions that you have, some Google searches will help, and particularly the postures. Um, but the most important thing is just finding whatever is comfortable and sustainable.